This video is to show how agile teams using JIRA uh, can mark off uh, items of their documents that they're developing as reviewed by specific approvers. So uh, this is um, an agile teams uh, scrum board um, with all the different uh, statuses. At the moment I've got a test section in here called test. So if I click on that, I'm able to open up in full screen mode by just by clicking on it here. At the moment it's in progress so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it into review by clicking submit for review at the top. And you'll see that the status is now in review. In order to add an approver the way to do this there's a little workflow button at the top here. There are two options pass review and feedback in cars. If I click pass review what will happen is over on this right hand side we've now got approvers Bernie Sharp. So this is me. Um, say for example one of my colleagues uh, has um, approved the document rather than me but they're not able to log into JIRA to mark this. It's possible for me to change that person's name. So I can just click here to edit. I'll start typing someone's name. And then click OK. We see that we've got another approver there. Now say somebody else wants to approve the document as well, so we've got multiple people. In this workflow tab, you'll see that I now have three options, pass and close, pass review and feedback in cars. Now pass and close is the one that we'll use when we've completed all of our reviews. At this stage, I just want to click pass review so I can add somebody else as an approver. What you'll see is that it's telling me there's more than one person who's reviewed this. Um, again, it's added my name, which is a bit annoying because actually uh, it's one of my colleagues that's, that's approved it. So I want to click on this edit button again. And you see there's this little picture of uh, multiple people. If I click on that, I'm able to search for um, my colleague's name. A little search window will appear. I can select that person, um, make sure just to delete myself, click the yes, and there we go. We've got the right approvers in position. Now when everybody has approved the document, so in this case uh, I may want to have three, two people who have reviewed it, so I can see the Brewster's name is here, I can click on it to expand to see who else has approved it. When I'm ready and um, I want to mark the document as done, I can go back to this workflow button and I can click pass and close. There we go, so that's moved this uh, section into done.